Select is one of the most important sections in SpaceClaim. This is because all of our other tools start with selecting. You need to select something to pull, select something to move, select something to fill. So having a good basis of selecting different ways and different techniques will be crucial when working with SpaceClaim. Before we get started, as a reminder, to rotate the model, hold the middle mouse button down. To zoom, hold control in the middle mouse button, and to pan, hold shift in the middle mouse button. Remember, if you want to change the way you spin, pan, zoom, this can be done in the options panel under navigation. Now, the basics of select are pretty simple. Click on something on screen to select it. The important thing will be knowing whether you've selected a face versus an edge versus a point or a vertex. Now if you start to select different things and you want to know what's selected, you can always look in the bottom middle of the screen to see what's highlighted here. And if you hold the control key down, you can select on multiple things. You can even select on edges, faces, and vertexes at the same time. You'll notice every time you have something selected, you can go to this middle of the screen to see what's in your selection. In this case, I have three faces, two edges, and two vertices. The same way I add to my selection by holding the control key down, I can use this to remove things from my selection. By control unselecting things, I now have one face, one edge, and two vertices. The fastest way to remove things from your selection are two different ways. You can click in white space anywhere here and it instantly removes things from your selection. The second method, if I have things selected as I do here, is pressing the escape key on your keyboard. Pressing escape will also remove things from your selection. Now, as we're moving through the model and selecting things, sometimes you want to select on hidden things on a model. This can be done by using the mouse wheel on your three button mouse. The same way you would scroll up and down a web page is the same way you can scroll through the model in SpaceClaim. It selects straight back through the model to give you all the faces and edges which might be there under your cursor. This can be done again. Scroll your mouse wheel in or out to select what's behind your cursor. Once you have your cursor there, click to select that thing. As a reminder, if you did go to File, Space Claim Options, Navigation, you can set your middle mouse wheel to not query like we've been doing, but so that zooms in and out. If you do this selection, this option, remember to hold Control to do a query select. Also, while we're here, let's take a look at some of these holes. I want to reinforce the difference between faces, edges, and in this case, holes also have axes. You'll notice as I hover over these holes, axes appear. As I hover over the fourth one, you'll notice the first axis disappears. We provide these temporary axes on the screen to help you select and locate and navigate the centers of holes. Only three will appear at a time, and as soon as you clear your selection by clicking in white space, they all go away. This will be important though, because selecting a face will give you different results in pull and move than selecting an edge and selecting an axis. We can experiment with what happens when you select on an edge, an axis or face with pull and move later on. Lastly, while we're here, let's look at quick ways to zoom in and out to get our selection. If you have a face selected, there's a very fast way to zoom in on it by going to Zoom, Zoom Extents. This will zoom into whatever is selected. If you have two things selected, like these two holes, by control selecting them, you can Zoom, Extents, to zoom into them. You'll notice the shortcut for Zoom Extents is Z. If I have nothing selected when I hit Z, it zooms into the complete object. 
This is a very fast way to zoom in and zoom out on different things on the screen. Now let's get back to selecting. A common way in SpaceClaim to select multiple things is by double clicking. This is similar to the convention in Word where you would select to put your cursor and double click to expand your cursor to select a single word. In SpaceClaim, double click will give you tangent faces. You'll notice it selects the face here, the round, and the face on the other side. If you double click around, it has all of these tangent faces there. But you'll notice double clicking around gives you the round chain. The reason for this is because that's probably what you'd like to modify. Either changing the round size to make it larger or smaller, possibly removing it, or toggling it to a chamfer. We've tried to change the selection to make it easier to work with. Also notice when double clicking faces that are here, you can double click edges. Double clicking an edge will grab you that tangent edge chain. However, what if you wanted a different edge loop, like the loop around this face? Simply double clicking a second time will toggle to a second edge loop. Double clicking a third time will toggle to the third edge loop. So double clicking will toggle through the different possible edge loops that are there. In the case of this face, if there are only two edge loops, it will only toggle between the two available. This is a fast way for grabbing edges around a model. One of the most common ways to select things in SpaceClaim is via a box select. It's very useful for selecting a lot of geometry. Holding down with your left mouse button will let you draw a box on screen to select everything that encompasses it. The key with box selecting is to pause to see what's in your selection. Right now I have the X. If I make bigger, I have all the letters and a few of these holes. As soon as I let go of my mouse, I can see what's being selected. Now the key with box selecting is that there's a difference between box selecting from left to right versus right to left. If I go left to right, only things that are entirely in my box get selected. And we operate under a smart selection hierarchy where if I start my box and there's only edges in my box, only edges get selected. As soon as faces enter my box, faces begin to be selected. If you'd like to control this, you can look at our selection filter on the bottom right hand corner of the screen to get exactly what you need. Most of the time you'll want a box select from left to right, as I'm doing here, and pause to see what's in your selection. The other method is to box select from right to left. Box selecting from right to left will select anything that crosses your box. Notice I get a lot more geometry really quickly when I'm box selecting from right to left. Box selecting from right to left is commonly used when changing the color of objects, selecting any piece of a model to hide or to show, or from moving things into a different layer. For precise selection, it's much more common to box select from left to right. And remember, if you pause for a second, you'll be able to see exactly what's in your box to make sure that's what you'd like to grab. I'm going to hit Z one more time to zoom to the extents. The last thing we'll look at is how to quickly select a solid. Now you'll notice it says here we can click an object, double click to grab an edge loop, or triple click to select a solid. Remember, the status messages are helpful to let you know what a particular tool does or what the tool's asking you to do. Triple clicking to select a solid simply involves you to click, click, click. If I hover over the face and I click, 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 you'll notice instead of having faces selected, I have one single body selected. It's the same as a double click, except we have one more at the end. So click, 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 selects a body. Now some people don't like selecting by triple clicking, and that's fine. We have a lot of other techniques for selecting bodies. First off, box selecting the entire model will select that body because all of the faces at the same time are selected, so it automatically up-selects to the body. If you're not in a situation where box selecting makes sense, 
Also, selecting from the structure tree is a valid way for grabbing that body. Whether I triple click, select the body in the structure tree, or box select, all of them give me that body selected. So I hope you've seen different ways to select on objects. And remember, it's going to be critical to know whether you have curves, edges, faces, surfaces, or vertexes selected. So please check the bottom middle of your screen so you can see what's actually in your selection before you make a pull, move, fill, or combine operation. Thank you for watching.